Hello, welcome back to Air Power Live. We want to talk today a little bit about wear parts for your GEMA OptiFlex unit. There's a couple of things that you need to be aware of that are going to wear, it's like brake pads and wiper blades don't last forever, right? So let's talk about some of those things that are going to need periodic checkment. So let's get started. Your pump, there's a couple of wear items in it. One, it's the pump insert. That's where the powder goes through and it does wear. Powder's abrasive so that you must check it for wear. Your unit comes with a go, no-go gauge. There are marks on it. For the front mark, stick it here. For the back, stick it here. On the older units, on the newer units, the newest unit, in this way, there's a mark here. If it reaches that mark, it's time to throw this away. If this wears and you're all the way inserted into here and you're still spraying powder with it, you're going to have to increase the total settings on your powder percent and your total air on your powder unit and you will be in trouble if you don't because you're going to spend more money on powder it's going to blow it by on you okay so that's a wear item inside these check valves are membranes they prevent powder from going back up through the red and black hose to the controller we want that to be eliminated so we pull these apart and we change those about every quarter, something like that. You can't maintenance them, they get dirty, they get full, that's all you can do is replace them. So about every quarter you wanna replace those. On this side of the pump that goes down into the pickup tube, you want to replace these O-rings as they get nicked and worn because you'll suck air around it and distort your powder cloud. On the inlet of your gun, here, you have this. There are two O-rings here. Those will wear as you take the powder hose in and out right here. Those will wear. Check for nicks, wear. Those need to be replaced. It'll cause problems. The powder will even blow out through here sometimes, right? So the last thing we want to think about for wear items is your electrode and your nozzle. So once we remove the electrode holder from the gun, we look inside. It's hard to see from your vantage point, but there is a splitter in there that splits the powder off and it's a shoulder, it's an angle like this. Uh, as that angle wears down close to the flat part down here, it shows you that it needs to be changed. So somewhere close to the end here, out here, you wanna change the electrode holder so that the powder splits out and gives you a good even cloud, okay? Lastly, the nozzle. There are a multitude of nozzles, but they, they mostly all have a slot like this in them. You drop it, it gets worn, things happen, it gets hot, you might touch a hot part with it, it gets weak, and this ID closes off on you. When that ID closes off on you, it distorts your powder cloud. When you distort your powder cloud, you can get uneven coverage on your part that you're trying to paint. So when that gets worn, you simply replace it. If both are worn about the same time, it's cheaper to buy these as a set than it is as individual components. However, if one's still good and you just need the nozzle and not the needle electrode, just purchase the nozzle and it'll save you a little bit of money. But if you need both, buy them as a set, it'll save you a bit of money. So these are the things to look for for wear. The whole idea is to keep your equipment maintained and running at its optimum performance level. That's what we're here for. We stock the parts for you. We want you to be able to get them in a rapid fashion. So take care of your equipment. The equipment will take care of you. Thank you again for watching Air Power Live, and we hope to see you soon. Don't forget to visit our website, airpower-usa.com, and the 800 number listed below. See you next time.